The Life and Legacy of the Commander of the Faithfuls, Imam Amir al muminin Ali ibn Abi Talib, alayhi salam, the first man in Islam, the cousin of the Prophet, his son-in-law, the first defender and supporter of the Prophet. We will discuss his sacrifice and his contributions over 30 episodes. So please join me. I'm your brother, Mustafa Al-Qazwini. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All the praise due to our Lord, our Creator, the Cherisher, the Sustainer. May His peace and blessings be upon all of His messengers and prophets and the righteous people that He sent to guide us, to teach us, to save us from the darknesses of ignorance and confusion. May the peace of the Lord be with you, surrounding you, and protecting you, my dear brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this second episode on the life and legacy of Imam Amir al muminin Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu wa salam, the successor to the Prophet, the disciple of the Prophet, the son-in-law of the Prophet, and the right hand of the Prophet. We're going to discuss what the Prophet said about him. In the first episode, we went through verses of the Quran, which could total 300 verses. Ibn Abbas said, every ayah that begins with Ya ayyuhal amanu, Ali is the emir, the prince of that ayah, the leader of that ayah. Every ayah in the Quran that says Ya ayyuhal amanu. And the Holy Quran chided and criticized some of the companions of the Prophet but Imam Ali was never criticized by God. He was only praised and complimented by God. So now we go to the hadiths of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, As-Sadiq al amin the honest, the trustworthy, and see what the Prophet said about Imam Ali. Number one, let me share this story with you. I met... <clears throat> A scholar in America a few years ago who accepted and embraced the tradition of Ahlul Bayt, the school of Ahlul Bayt. So I asked him, What made you accept this tradition? He said, Because I read the authentic hadith of the Prophet, our leader the Messenger of God, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that hadith is mentioned in Al-Isabah, Ibn Hajar, another book by the name of Majma' al-Zawaid, and Abi Layla al-Ghifari, on the authority of Abu Layla. سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم يقول سيكون من بعد فتنة After my departure there will be a severe test there will be an ordeal there will be a turmoil a division if you will among my among my community when that will take place and happens when you see this division taking place be on the side of Ali, be on his side, because he's the very first person who embraced me and embraced my faith. And 
and the very first one who would shake hand with me on the day of judgment. Akbar. This is his title, as Siddiq. He's the greatest truth telling and trustworthy. Umma. He is the distinguisher of this community who distinguishes between what is good and what is bad. He's the leader. Ya'sub in the Arabic literature is the male bee that leads bees, his community. And this is a metaphor. So Ya'sub al Mu'minin means he is the leader of the faithfuls. While wealth is going to be the leader for the hypocrites. So this scholar said to me, when I read this hadith, I said then, what I am waiting for? This is a very clear directive of the Prophet, by the Prophet, that this is the way. Don't go into other directions. The Prophet set the direction for us after him. When people are divided, each one claims that he's an Imam, he's a founder of this tradition, this school of thought, this madhab, and people get confused. Which one of us is going to lead to the Prophet? The Prophet made it very clear that go to Ali. So this is a very clear hadith of the Prophet وسلم, regarding the virtue and the leadership of his cousin Ali ibn Abi Talib. The other hadith, I selected a bundle of their hadith. Otherwise, what the Prophet said about Imam Ali, it could reach hundreds, hundreds of sayings and attributes. But I have just selected very few, the ones that are important in my opinion. The second one, Ya Ali, ma arafaka illa Allah wa ana, O Ali. No one knew you. No one is able to comprehend you, to comprehend and to do justice to you in comprehending you and understanding you except God and me. No one gave you the full right, the full justice in recognizing you, Ma'rifa, except God and me. And in the following books, Safinatul Bihar, Al Irshad, Al Shaykh Al Mufid, Al Khatib Al Kharazmi, in his book Al Manaqib, Ya Ali, Lawla and Takula Nasu Fika Kaulan, Lawla and Takula Fika Tawaifun Ma Kalatin Nasara Fi Isabni Maria, Lakul to Fika Kaulan, Lata Murru Bimela in, Illa Akhadu Turaba Min Tahti Kademi. If it wasn't for the fear that if I say something about you, then people are going to do, people are going to do what the Christians did to Jesus, meaning the divinity of Jesus. They made him divine. If it wasn't for that fear that people are going to make you divine, just like the Christians who made Jesus divine, I would have said something in, in you, about you, that whenever you pass through a community, a group of people, they will gather around you and they will take the dust from underneath your feet and because that dust is blessed. They will take it from under your feet to seek blessings and healing in it. Therefore, I'm not going to say, because I don't want people to worship other than God. I don't want people to consider you to be divine 
because you are the servant of God. What is his specific title that God has given him? Listen to this story. The story is in Amali al Sheikh al Pusi and Al Manaqib, Kitab al Manaqib, Lil Kharazmi. The night of ascension, Laylatul Mi'raj, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ila nabi, God said to the Prophet, Ya Muhammad, اخترتُ لك عليا. I have chosen Ali for you. فاتخذه لنفسك خليفة ووصية. Take him as a successor and a disciple and someone who replaces you in leadership. وهو أمير المؤمنين حقا. Truly, he is the commander of the faithfuls. So this title has been given to Imam Ali exclusively by God. Not by people, by God. لم ينلها أحد قبله وليست لأحد بعده. None has received this title before him and none is going to receive this title after him. He is the only one who is called Amir al-Mu'mineen. This is his exclusive title. Amir al-Mu'mineen. Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu wassalam. In the book of Manaqib, the author is Kharazmi. In the book of the Khair al-Uqba, the author is Al-Muhib al-Tabari. In the book of Yanabi' al-Mawadda, the author is Hanafi Imam, who is Sulaiman, whose name is Sulaiman al-Qanduzi. An Umar ibn al-Khattab. This hadith has been narrated on the authority of Umar ibn al-Khattab. An Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Law anna al-samawat al-sab, if the seven heavens, wal aradina al-sab, and seven earths, wudi'at fi kaffati mizan, they would have been put in one part of the scale, on one side of the scale. وَوُضِعَ إِيمَانُ عَلِي بْنِ أَبِي طَالِبٍ فِي كَفَّهِ لَرَجُحَ إِيمَانُ عَلِي And the faith of Ali is being put in the other side of the scale. This other side which carries the faith of Ali is going to overweight the first scale, the first side. The faith of Ali is heavier than the seven heavens and the seven earths, the seven layers of the sky and the heaven and the seven layers of the earth. That is the hadith of the Prophet on the authority of Umar ibn al-Khattab. And the Prophet continues to say, Hubbu Aliyin ibadah. The love for Ali is an act of worship, an act of service, an act of dedication to God. ولا يقبل إيمان عبد إلا بولايته والبراءة من أعدائه. The faith of an individual would not be completed or accepted or perfected unless by his loyalty to Ali and disloyalty to the enemies of Ali. It's very interesting. Not only the loyalty to Ali is required. But also disloyalty to his enemies. Because the enemies of Ali are definitely the enemies of God. No doubt about it. Same thing like Prophet Muhammad. The enemies of Muhammad are the enemies of God. The Prophet states... عنوان صحيفة المؤمن. What is صحيفة, my friends? صحيفة is صحيفة الأعمال. Means when you carry your book, your achievements, which is recorded in a book. وكل إنسان ألزمناه طائره في عنقه. And you come to the day of judgment. This book is called صحيفة. The title that is put on that book. 
is حب علي بن أبي طالب the love the loyalty to علي بن أبي طالب the title of the book that you carry it has a title it has a name وعنه صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم فضل علي على سائر الناس كفضل جبرائيل على سائر الملائكة the virtue of علي above other mankind exactly like the virtue and the position of Gabriel upon other angels. وعن ابن عباس رضي الله تعالى عنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم أنه قال لعلي بن أبي طالب عليه السلام. This is on the authority of Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas happened to be the cousin of the Prophet, the first cousin of the Prophet and the first cousin of Imam Ali. So he says, I heard the Prophet saying to Ali, Ya Ali, man ahabbaka biqalbihi faqad akhada thulth al-iman. If a person, an individual, loves you deep in his heart, in his or her hearts, then he or she has acquired one-third of faith. وَمَنْ أَحَبَّكَ بِقَلْبِهِ وَلِسَانِهِ an individual who loves you with his heart and his mouth, meaning his sayings, so he speaks about you, he acquires two-thirds of faith. وَمَنْ أَحَبَّكَ بِقَلْبِهِ وَلِسَانِهِ وَعَمَلِهِ Someone who loves you in his heart, with his mouth, with his deeds, then he has acquired the entire faith. With his deed. With his deed, it means that he loves Imam Ali and he follows him, not just loving him. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهِ وَيَخْفَرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ Many people claim that we love Ali. Many. Many Muslims. They claim that we love him. We adore him. We admire him, but they don't follow him. Many people, they do, they say, we follow the tradition of Ali, but practically they don't follow. They don't do what Ali did. What do I mean by following him? Following him means to emulate his example, to imitate what he did. Ali was generous. If someone is not generous, he's not following Ali. Ali was forgiving. If someone is not forgiving, he's not following Ali. Ali was sincere and dedicated. Ali was a hard-working person. If someone is lazy, he's not the followers of Ali. Ali used to take care of his worship day and night. If someone is not worshiping, He's not following Ali. Ali used to help the orphans and the needy and the poor. If we don't care about those people, we are not following Ali. Ali did not touch anything that was haram. Ali saw the wealth right before his eyes and he didn't take it for himself. He gave it to others. If we are not doing that, we are not following Ali. So, من أحبك بقلبه ولسانه وعمله Someone who loves you through the heart, through his sayings, and through his deeds, then he has acquired the entire faith. فقد جمع الإيمان كله والذي بعثني This is in ينابع المودة سليمان القندوزي الحنفي وَالَّذِي بَعَثَنِي بِالْحَقِّ نَبِيَّةِ The Prophet says, لَوْ أَحَبَّكَ أَهْلُ الْأَرْضِ كَمَا يُحِبُّكَ أَهْلُ السَّمَاءِ لَمَا عَذَّبَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى أَحَدًا مِّنْهُمْ بِالنَّارِ Oh Ali, I swear, if the people of earth, they love you the same way the people of the heaven love you, God would have never punished any inhabitants on earth if they love you the same way 
the people of heaven love you. People of heaven, they love Imam Ali with sincerity. Not because they have a special interest. They love him genuinely. They love him because of who he is. They love him because of his nearness to God and to the Prophet. They love him because Ali was selfless. They love him because Ali was a man of faith and dedication and service to all. This is why they love him. They love him genuinely. If the people of earth love Ali genuinely, then none of them is going to be punished. And this hadith, the following one, is in Manaqib al-Abi Talib. An Aishata ibn Abi Bakr wa Umar ibn al-Khattab wa Abi Sa'id al-Khidri wa Abdullah ibn Mas'ud wa Umran ibn, al- ibn al-Husayn. Those companions, they say, عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم النظر إلى وجه علي بن أبي طالب عباد By merely looking at the face of Ali this is an act of service and worship because Ali is a source of inspiration when you look at Ali you get energy you get inspired when you look at Ali you get closer to God when you look at Ali, your faith is going to be deepened. When you look at Ali, you're going to be refreshed. So looking at the face of Ali brings you hope, strengthening your faith, deepens your trust in God. And نَظَرُ إِلَى وَجْهِ عَلِيٍ Ali ibn Abi Talib in Ibadah. And then Hadith al Manzila, another Hadith of the Prophet. And Taminni bi Manzila Tiharuna min Musa. This Hadith has been narrated by Bukhari, by Muslim, uh, Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal, uh, Musnad Abi Dawood, and many others. When the Prophet was about to leave for Tabuk, and he left Ali ibn Abi Talib behind because the situation was very critical and it required someone who was very strong and very reliable, the Prophet said to Imam Ali, أَنْتَ مِنِّي بِمَنْزِلَةِ هَارُونَ مِنْ مُوسَى إِلَّا أَنَّهُ لَا نَبِيَّ بَعْدِ To me, you are like Aaron to Moses. When Moses left the community, he left Aaron instead of him. He left him there as a successor. And the Prophet said, Ali ma'al haq wal haq ma'a Ali walan yaftariqa hatta yarida alayya al hawd Allahumma adir al haq ma'ahu haythu dar Ali is with the truth the truth is with Ali they are not going to be separated until they arrive on the day of judgment O oh God made the truth follows Ali wherever Ali goes these are small part of what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said about Imam Ali Alayhi salam May the peace of God be upon you and with you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.